at WrestleMania, the showcase of the Immortals. But as Jack D once said, don't believe that, as some of the matches we are about to discuss were not good enough. While there are many diverse WrestleMania matches we would like to forget, most of them featured plenty of cheesecake and presented fans with an opportunity to hit the up their matches. But which matches were they? Well, join us now as look at live and WrestleMania matches we would like to forget. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more videos. And also follow me on Twitter. Number 11. Pat McAfee vs Mr. McMahon, Russell at 38. Pat proved that he can wrestle when he defeated Austin Theory in what was actually a good match and a reminder that McAfee is the athletic skills for a future in the ring. Regrettably for Pat, Mr. McMahon also wanted to prove he can take the emulation that comes with working in the WWE. McMahon and Theory proceeded to beat McAfee before Vince pinned him. This match is only saving graces that so called Steve Austin ran in for the save and delivered one of the worst stunner ever to Mr. McMahon. Number 10. Randy Orton vs. Bray White. WrestleMania 33. This match was unbound as any special way in a hallucination match. So why did WWE go with the intelligent insulting direction of projecting creepy crawlers onto the ring as WWE champion Bray White battled his former or so he thought fellow White family member Randy Orton. This is something silly you would expect from the WWF in the late 80s or early 90s if they had the technology to pull it off. This may belong lower on our list merely because by 2017 the WWE should have known better but we will leave that to you. Number 9. Butter Ben vs Bad Gun WrestleMania 15 Fans have always wondered what would happen when boxing clashed with wrestling, something with the potential of two atoms smashing into each other. While the worked versions can be entertaining, the short versions have fled to results ranging from so burning to nausea and to sing. But Gun had no business getting into the ring with a professional fighter at WrestleMania 15, nor did the WWF and right to put him in there. <coughs> Number 8. Akebono vs The Big Show, WrestleMania 21 Fans have never wondered what would happen if a professional wrestler battled a sumo wrestler, but apparently Mr. McMahon did as he booked this dad a 2005 showcase of the motors. It's nothing short of a miracle that neither man experienced a wardrobe malfunction. 7. The Boogeyman vs Bugatti and Chamel WrestleMania 19 What happens when the Boogeyman dumps a bucket of worms on Bugatti and his wife Chamel? You get the terrible interchange about that proves WrestleMania 19 wasn't the only time Bugatti was buried at WrestleMania. Well, the bookman deserves a WWE Hall of Fame nod for his interaction with the WWE Hall of Famer Donald Trump at WrestleMania 23. His role in this match makes it unlikely that will never happen. Number 6. Terry Ranos vs. The Kid, WrestleMania 2000 There are many number of men's matches from the Divas era that could make this list, but this one makes the grade because it featured two men who had many skills but wrestling was not one of them. Terry Reynolds was a good manager, while Stacey Carter aka The Kid looked better as China's submissive servant. This Kid fight features four finish when he was still a WWF superstar who was unaware of the future pitfalls of social media. Number 5. Money Inc. vs Mega Maniacs WrestleMania 9 By 1993 it was safe to say that nobody wanted to see Money Inc. which is consisted of Teddy Biasi and Eru Anna Shasta vs Mega Maniacs, Hulk Hogan and Brutus the Barber Beefcake. By 1993, DPSs and IRS skills deteriorated vastly, while Beefcakes deteriorated in 1987 and Alcogan's well, he is Alcogan. This match featured three of the Mega Powers reunion. The supposed disintegrating storyline involved Man Inc. trying to disfigure Brutus Beefcake, surgically repaired face, and Alcogan vowing vengeance echoed back to the sheer power of war and peace. The real storyline was the mystery concerning Hogan's old spot on WrestleMania. Walker many as every puzzled over how Costa would let himself be booked in the mid-card. Incidents that answer but like these WrestleMania matches would like to forget that's an impromptu main event that belongs in the feature column. Number 4. The Undertaker vs. Jane Gonzalez, WrestleMania 9 It takes a special level of offness for a WrestleMania to contribute two matches to our list. Such was the order of WrestleMania 9, when Jane Gonzalez battled The Undertaker. It was a chaotic case of what happens when a talented big man Undertaker battles an untalented big man Jane Gonzalez and the fans are caught in the middle. This match had everyone watching feeling like they were caught in Jane Gonzalez's chloroform soaked tower. Number 3. Hogan vs Sergeant Slaughter, WrestleMania 7 
If they make a manex so that's man ink matches a marathon and Jordan challenge for even the most loyal Gogan fans, consider Gogan vs. Slaughter as an ultra marathon. The iron of this match is in the former Patriot Bayface Sergeant Slaughter was now playing a Iraqi sympathizer. No, the iron was just a year before Augustar had worked a very entertaining 24 minute match against the Ultimate Warrior. Well, neither Hogan nor Slaughter could produce anything exciting during the match. Lightning had struck once at WrestleMania 6, but it sure as he wasn't going to strike twice with Hogan and Slaughter. Number 2 Road Road Paper vs. Bad News Brown, WrestleMania 6. Wrestling's history of exploitiveness in its storyline is well documented, and although Rod Rod Piper likely had no intention of mocking Bad News Brown's ethnicity, his decision to paint himself off black in order to show Bad News Brown that he was oblivious to ethnicity was tone deaf at best and downright dumb at worst. This match is a decent bro for WWF at the time, but the sheer ridiculousness and repulsiveness of watching Piper's old attempt to stop prejudice. If you saying so many WrestleMania matches I would like to forget, and this is one of them. You can be sure the Peacock will do its best to help you because they've taken it off the WWE network. Number 1 Uncle Emma visits Adorable Adrian and Adonis, WrestleMania 2. Any match featuring Uncle Emma is likely to top a west of the west list, but what happens when you throw Emma in the ring with Adorable Adrian and Adonis? The wrestlers were repulsive looking, which is undoubtedly was Vince McMahon's purpose. Although fans might ask if Elma have ever had any reason to be in a watchable match out of Elma without the aid of a forklift. But there you go guys, our list of level are so many matches you like to forget. Do you agree with our level match pile up? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more videos. Until then, see you next time.